Hello, and welcome to this film about um, the addition and removal of substances from equilibrium systems. Um, some of the stuff we talk about in this film is based on some of the practicals you may have seen in some of the other films, and it also deals with Le Chatelier's principles, so it would be handy if you've watched the introductory films first and the practical films too. Um, but hopefully by the end of this film you'll have practiced using Le Chatelier's principle to see what will happen to an equilibrium system if we add or remove products or reactants from it. And hopefully you might be able to try and include collision theory in some of the explanations that you make. Okay, let's start off by looking at this equilibrium system. Um, this is one of the ones that um, we may have seen a film about, okay? And we may have seen that ICL is a brown liquid, okay? It's a brown liquid which can react with chlorine okay to produce ICL3 which is a yellow solid okay so in other words we can visualize where this equilibrium or where this position of equilibrium is so in other words whether we're over to the left or to the right whether there's more reactants or whether there's more products by observing whether there's lots of brown liquid or whether there's lots of yellow solid okay and what we saw when we did this practical was when there was lots of chlorine around there was lots of yellow solid around okay and when we expelled the chlorine there was lots of brown liquid around and not so much yellow solid so what's going on there well as we add chlorine Le Chatelier's principle says that the system will try and remove it because the concentration has gone up okay so it will go over to the right side so adding chlorine will turn brown liquid into yellow solid if we remove chlorine, then Le Chatelier's principle says that the system will try and replace it. How does it replace it? Well, it goes in the backward direction, okay? Because the backward reaction favours the production of chlorine, okay? So, in other words, Le Chatelier's principle tells us that if we add a reactant, we should get an increased concentration of products because the system is trying to lower the concentration of that reactant. If we remove a reactant, then Le Chatelier's principle tells us that it should um, increase the concentration of the reactants because the system is trying to increase their concentration, and the way it does that is by speeding up the backward reaction. Okay, now just getting some collision theory into this, why should the forward reaction speed up? If we add chlorine, well, there'll be a higher concentration of chlorine, so more particles in a particular space, so there'll be a greater chance of collisions between these two, so the rate of that forward reaction should increase. And that would be why the forward reaction suddenly is going faster than the backward one and will produce more solid. If we remove chlorine, what effect does that have on rates? Well, it seems as though the backward reaction is being favoured, but remember, removing chlorine isn't going to affect the speed of that, okay? It's just going to slow down the forward reaction because we've removed chlorine, so the concentration has fallen, fewer particles in a particular space, so the chances of these two colliding is smaller. So this forward reaction actually slows down, okay? It makes it seem as though the backward reaction is going faster, and that's because it is, but not because the backward reaction sped up but because the forward reaction slowed down. Okay, moving on to um, an experiment which um, I don't think there is a film about, but nonetheless we can have a look at a different way of adding and removing things. Okay, this is the iron and thiocyanate, thiocyanate equilibrium, producing this iron to thiocyanate ion. Okay, sorry, iron 3, thiocyanate iron. And... Um, what I suppose it's useful to know about this is that this side is orange, but fairly pale orange, and this side is a really, really dark red, so like almost like blood, this side. Okay, and we're looking now not at adding or removing directly products or reactants, so we're not putting in or removing a specific reactant or product. What we're thinking about is precipitating something. Okay, and as it happens, if we add silver ions, they will form a precipitate with SCN minus, the thiocyanate ion, okay? And that will, as I say, be insoluble, so it will form a precipitate. What does that do? Well, if we add silver, that will 
turn the thiocyanate ions into a precipitate, it will lower this concentration. So there will be fewer particles to collide in a particular space. So the forward reaction will slow down. So the backward reaction will be favoured over the forward reaction, even though the backward reaction hasn't sped up. It's just going faster than the forward one now. And so as we add silver ions, we should notice that this solution becomes more orange and less dark red because the backward reaction is being favoured. Okay, so this is a way of removing, in this case we were removing SCN- minus by precipitating it. Okay, so we're indirectly removing this. We were adding something else to remove something from the equation. Okay, so once again, concentration of this falls. Chances of a collision between these two things drops because there's fewer particles in a particular space. Okay, that's the collision theory. So the forward reaction slows down. The backward reaction is now going faster than it. So the position of equilibrium will move to the left. And so we'll get less dark red color and more orange. OK, and finally, looking at another practical which you may have seen a film about. You may have even done it yourself. OK, this is the chromate dichromate equilibrium. We've got a little picture of what these two ions look like. OK, we're talking about the chromate ion and the dichromate ion. And this chromate ion is yellow and the dichromate ion is orange. So again, it's an equilibrium system that we can observe because we can tell whether it's more orange or more yellow. So we can tell whether there's more reactants or more products. Okay, and now we're looking at indirect removal again, but this time by neutralization. Or in other words, we're looking at pH changes. Now notice this equation has got H plus in it. Okay, so acid ions. Now we could directly add H plus by lowering the pH or adding acid. That would increase the concentration of H plus. There'd be a greater chance of a collision between these two. So the forward reaction would speed up. The forward reaction is now going faster than the backward one. So the system's moving to the right. Okay. In other words, Le Chatelier's principle is saying we've increased the concentration of H plus ions. The system wants to reduce the concentration. So it's got to go right to do that. Okay. However, that would be a direct addition. How about if we tried to remove these H plus ions? Well, how could we do that? Well, we could add OH minus. We could add some base to this solution. Okay. Or in other words, we could increase its pH. Right. So by adding OH minus, the H plus and the OH minus will form water. Okay. That will drop the concentration of H plus ions. Okay, so the system will try and act to increase them and it will move to the left according to Le Chatelier's principle. What's it got to do with collision theory? Well, again, there are fewer now, fewer H plus ions to collide with the chromate ion. So the chances of a collision between these two will fall and the forward reaction will slow down. So the backward reaction is being favoured and so the position of equilibrium will move to the left. Okay, and we'll get a more yellowy solution when we add base whereas we'll get a more orangey one if we add acid. Okay, now the next film um, in this series deals with what the rate and concentration time graphs might look, for, look like for some of these processes, so that would be a good place to go next.